Well, he was the only big name signing for Manchester United in the uh, transfer window, and now Maran Fellaini is back from international duty, and so today he's been presented to the media alongside his manager, David Moyes, the two reunited from their time at Everton, of course. And we can hear from them both now, starting with the manager. David, how pleased you have that man alongside you for the next five years, perhaps? Yeah, very pleased. Uh, when I brought him to Everton from Standard Ledge, he was someone who we, not many people knew an awful lot about. Uh, we'd seen him play a few times in the Champions well, in, in Europa League games. He was against Liverpool, actually, one of the games we watched him play. I remember going over to watch him and coming away thinking, wow, you know, this boy's got a real chance. And he never never let us down when he came to Everton. I think he's continued to improve. Uh, he's well known in the Premier League, experienced in the Premier League now. Can do several different jobs, play different positions, can score goals, can be effective in different areas of the field. So I'm hoping that if he continues to improve the way he has done in his early part and does the same again at Manchester United, we could have a, a really top player in our hands. Was that the attraction tried and tested, but also with the potential to improve as well? Yeah, it was someone we knew as well. So we knew that it was it was an area of the field where we felt as if we had to strengthen, we had to try and get uh, another central midfield player. But, you know, with Marouane being able to play a bit further on as well, it can give us different alternatives at different times if we required. But, uh, you know, I think he's matured as well. Every time I go to see Belgium, you know, they talk about the great Belgium team just now, the international team. I've got to say, every time I've gone to watch Belgium, I always go away thinking that Marouane Fellaini is the best player. And uh, I, I continually do that every time I go to watch him. He arrived late. In hindsight, would you rather have done the whole buyout thing in July the 1st? No, what because we, we had chosen to do it the way we did because we wanted to try and get Leighton Baines. And we didn't want to give up on Leighton Baines right to the last minute. And uh, we felt the best way to do that was to try and keep the two deals together. And only at the last minute did we split the deal. So uh, that was the way we chose to do it. For most, of the, for most of the summer, you were linked to Manchester United. Did you, when it got and got to lie a week before, a day before, three hours before, did you think it was never going to happen? Yes. Well, with, the, with Everton, with the chairman, you, you never know. So, sometimes I think, uh, no chance for me to, to join uh, Manchester United. But in the end, I was so happy because the, the chairman accepted uh, the deal. So. I was so happy to, to join uh, Manchester United. You, you drove down to Everton. There was pictures of you drove. What was that all about? Yes, I, I, I talked with the, with the manager because it's a big opportunity uh, for me to join uh, one of the biggest clubs uh, in the world. And uh, you know my, uh, my objective, you know, I want to, to win a trophy. I play for football for this, so... With Man United, I have a big chance to win uh, something. Uh, when I was at that training ground when you drove past at Everton and then you just left, it was pretty late on. Were there nerves at all amongst you, thinking that mm -hmm. it possibly wouldn't go through? Of course, of course. At the time uh, I talked, uh, no chance to, to join Man United. But uh, in the end, uh, I joined the, the club, so, so <laughs> for me it's a, it's a dream. And the biggest club in the world. It's a big dream. Mara, man, how ready do you feel now to make the step up to Manchester United? Yes. I know uh, I, I need to work hard for uh, for my place. A lot of good players in, uh, in the club. So I need to work hard. I need uh, to show, of course. Uh, so I need the time. So I keep, I keep uh, focus. And uh, I want as well to, to, to help to help the team, and uh, and I give uh, everything for for this. How much of an advantage is it that you know the manager, you know the league, you know a bit about the club having played it before as well? Yes, uh, so I have a big chance to know the, the manager, the staff, uh, the Premier League. I have a lot of games in Premier League. I know the player, the quality of the player. So I think it's it's, it's good for me. Uh, just I just need to to play and play well for the team. That's it. Now, when you would have seen in the media that Manchester United over the summer were chasing other central midfielders such as Cesc Fabregas, did it ever concern you that you might not have been Man United's first choice? Uh, of course, Man United won the 
the, the big player. But uh, no, I I uh, I wanted to to stay fit. It's the most important for me, and we will see to the end of the the transfer. Okay, let's take you to the cricket man and the county championship leaders.